Joining us now, Democratic Congressman Eric Swalwell of California. He's a member of the Intelligence Committee. Uh, Congressman, do you share Senator Corker's concern about President Trump pushing the United States potentially toward World War III? I do, very much so, uh, Wolf. Uh, and it doesn't have to be uh, that way, and we're not helpless here on Capitol Hill. And so if Senator Corker uh, is indeed uh, correct that other senators have expressed this concern, uh, if you have seen something, it's time to say something. Uh, he shouldn't be the only one. We need other patriots uh, to come forward because uh, the stakes uh, are too great uh, if we don't stop this president from taking us uh, to a nuclear war. Have you had conversations with uh, Republicans? I know you're a Democrat, but have you had conversation with the Republicans who privately share Corker's views but fear saying so in public? Yeah, and Wolf, I'm a, a Democrat who's the son of uh, two Republicans, but also my Republican friends across the aisle, uh, they are very concerned. And I, I've seen escalating concern uh, just over the past uh, few weeks as the president continues uh, to alienate himself uh, from Republicans who express that he's just, you know, shown an unwillingness to work with them on other issues. Uh, but I'm afraid that when backed into a corner, uh, he's going to believe that, you know, military action rather than diplomacy or sanctions or working with China uh, is the way to go. And uh, we need uh, the members of Congress to exercise our co-equal branch of government status uh, and keep them from doing that. Do you believe the president is undermining, undercutting the Secretary of State uh, Rex Tillerson's ability to do his job, which is diplomacy? Uh, yes, and uh, Rex Tillerson has also undermined the State Department's ability to do his job by not filling out uh, key posts like having an ambassador to South Korea. And Wolf, one other issue that is looming in Washington right now is the Iran nuclear deal. If we walk away from that deal, that denuclearized Iran, uh, there's no way we could in earnest try and strike a deal with North Korea. They'd think we're crazy and it would be uh, in no interest of theirs to strike a deal uh, having uh, just walked away from the one uh, we struck with Iran. The president is going to make his announcement on, uh, on uh, Iran and the nuclear deal on Thursday. But in general, how do you see America's adversaries uh, watching what's going on uh, right now here in Washington? How do you see them reacting? Uh, they see chaos, and in that chaos, uh, we are weak. And you see uh, you know, other adversaries like China, uh, they're in an elevated position right now because uh, they have a much uh, greater role uh, to play because you're not seeing American leadership. Now, the president has an opportunity when he goes uh, to Asia later this month uh, to sit down with the Chinese, and I hope he brings in the Koreans and the Japanese and shows the world that we are unified, at least on the issue of not allowing North Korea to have a nuclear weapon. It's those images that we've seen over the course of history uh, where American leadership has always uh, led the way, uh, bringing allies and non-allies together to take on the greatest uh, crises we face. And he needs to do that now. I'm rooting for him to do that now. Uh, and, you know, world order relies on that. Well, I, I just want to be precise. When you say you fear that the president's uh, actions, his statements could lead to, not only to a World War III, but to a nuclear war, when you say nuclear war, what do you mean? Well, the president just recently tweeted that, you know, we diplomacy is essentially over. Only one thing could work. And, you know, he didn't say it explicitly, but we know what that one thing is. That would be, you know, a military strike against North Korea. And anyone that would talk to the president would tell him that if you strike North Korea and you don't completely take them out, you have 30 plus thousand U.S. troops just across the border with their families in Seoul, millions of Koreans. And so that really leaves uh, only a, a nuclear strike unless you want to, you know, put thousands of lives, if not millions of lives, in the way. And it, we, we don't have to get there yet. We should exhaust every option uh, before it comes to that point. And it seems that he keeps leaping to that point. We're getting some new information here in the Situation Room. Even as we speak, uh, Congressman CNN has just learned that the chairman of your committee, the House Intelligence Committee, Devin Nunes, has issued subpoenas to the partners who ran what's called Fusion GPS, the research firm that produced the dossier of memos on alleged Russian efforts to aid the Trump campaign. According uh, to sources briefed on the matter, uh, th that's what they're saying. What do you make of Nunes, Nunes's decision to do this after he said earlier this year he was stepping aside uh, as being involved in this overall Russia investigation and dele that, delegating that to others? I'm headed to an Intelligence Committee hearing as, as soon as we wrap up, Wolf, uh, and I'm going to seek to verify that. But Chairman Nunes uh, told uh, Congress that he had recused himself from the investigation. Uh, this would violate that recusal if this is indeed what he has done. And it's also a way to go it alone, not work with Democrats. And it looks like he's trying to, again, 
undermine the investigation. That said, Wolf, we do want to hear from Christopher Steele. Uh, so far, a lot of what he has alleged in the dossier uh, has been proven, like Donald Trump trying to negotiate a Trump Tower deal in Moscow. We read the Michael Cohen, Felix Sater emails, like Carter Page traveling over to Moscow during the campaign with the permission of Paul Manafort. That actually, we now know, has happened. But for Devin Nunes to just go it alone, not work with Democrats, uh, that, that is working on the side of the White House and being their lawyer and their counsel and not working collaboratively in an investigation that's very important for the future uh, of our democracy. We're told that uh, Devin Nunes personally signed that subpoena uh, for uh, Fusion GPS partners to, to appear before your committee. So you want them to appear in addition to Christopher Steele, the former British spy who prepared that memo. Of course, but this isn't the way to do it. A recused chairman uh, acting without working with Democrats would not be uh, the way to do it. You know, in our unity, uh, we can protect our country against a future attack. But in disunity, all we do is allow the Russians to sharpen their swords and come at us again.